So today, we're going to be talking about the letters P and J and what sounds they make. Do you guys know what sound P makes? The letter P. Do we know what sound it makes? Owen's got it. <coughs> right? And then, do we know what sound the letter J makes? You don't remember? What sound does it make? Okay, so I'm going to be reading the biggest pumpkin ever, and then we're going to sort the words, okay? Once, there were two mice who fell in love with the same pumpkin. Clayton the house mouse noticed it one day in the vegetable garden, and it was a little and green. But Desmond, the field mouse, discovered the pumpkin the same day, and he thought if he helped it grow, it would be the most beautiful jack-o'-lantern. That afternoon, Clayton watered the pumpkin to make it grow larger. That same night, Desmond went into the garden, and he waited next, and he watered the pumpkin too, spreading water around it. The next day, Clayton watered the pumpkin and fertilized the pumpkin, and so did Desmond. The pumpkin began to grow. By the end of the month, the pumpkin was so large, Clayton couldn't believe his eyes. My goodness, said Clayton's mother, and it's not even fully grown. Clayton shrugged. All I do is water it, he said. That night, Desmond brought his brother Morris to see the pumpkin. Morris already knew everything there was to know about growing things. That's some pumpkin, he said. The next day, Clayton dug a small hole beside the pumpkin vine. In the hole, he placed a bowl full of sugar water. He cut into the vine a few inches from the pumpkin and let it sit. That night, Desmond did the same thing on the other side. Within a week, the pumpkin was twice the size that it had been, and within two weeks, it was absolutely enormous. Clayton was amazed. He ran down the road and peeked into his friend Jimmy's pumpkin patch. The pumpkin Jimmy was growing for the contest looked much smaller. Clayton scratched his head. I have an amazing pumpkin, he said, and fell with the contest. That night, Desmond and his pumpkin and his brother spent a long time looking at the pumpkin. How do you think about that big, Desmond asked? More shrug. A little luck, a little still. A week later, Clayton noticed the pumpkin was bigger. Oh, let's not put the let's not put the circles in our mouths, okay? You can mess with it in your hands, but don't put it in your mouth. Thank you. Don't put it on your face. We don't want aching floor germs in our faces. One week later, Clayton noticed the pumpkin was bigger than the family car. During the day, everyone he knew came to admire it. And at night, all the field mice gathered around to do the same. By now, summer was almost over, and in a week, the pumpkin would be fully grown and start turning yellowish and then orange. A few weeks after that, it would be ripe and ready for the pumpkin contest. Clayton decided to worry about this when the time came. That night, the weather grew colder. Thinking night could be an early frost, Clayton rushed over to cover the pumpkin with his blanket. Desmond, too, had seen all of the danger of an early frost. He had brought blankets for the pumpkin, and as he worked, he sang a little song. As he sang, he began to realize that someone else was working and humming. Clayton stopped humming. He put down his pile of blankets and peered around the corner of the pumpkin. Desmond stopped singing. He put down his blankets and peered around the other corner of the pumpkin. The two of them bumped heads and fell down. You have been feeding the pumpkin, said Clayton. That's why it got so big, said Desmond. They burst out laughing. With everything had been explained, Clayton said, I know. I'll win the contest if I can get the pumpkin to town. Desmond smiled. I'll help you. Just let me carve the pumpkin into a giant jack-o'-lantern for Halloween. The morning of the contest. Olivia, why aren't we in our, why aren't we in our spot? Can we sit over here? Would that be okay? Mama, why sit by me? I'm moving him away from you. It's okay. Thank you. It's okay. The morning of the contest was bright and sunny, and mice were bringing their pumpkins to the town square by truck. Why are we all moving? Owen. Oh, Christmas apple sauce for you? Please? You're going to be Olivia, please. Suddenly, they all stopped short. Over the fields came the biggest pumpkin anyone had ever seen. It was big and pulled by a hundred field mice on motorcycles. Thank you. When the pumpkin reached down, it was too big for any of the streets. Clayton had to explain why they couldn't bring it to the square. The mayor understood for once. Him and the crowd looked at the giant pumpkin and pinned the first prize ribbon on it. When the celebration was over, the hundred field mice pulled the pumpkin back into the field. The day before Halloween, they carved it into the best jack-o'-lantern ever. And on Halloween night, its wonderful smiling face could be seen glowing for miles around. The end. Now, we're going to go through letters that start with P and J. Do you guys want to talk about the sounds again? Do you guys remember what they sound like? J. 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 Huh? What do they sound like, Jeremiah? Good job. Good job. Okay, so the word pizza. What letter does it start with? P. Yeah? Can you guys say pizza? Pizza. Good job. So what side would it go on if it starts with the letter P? You want to put it on. The P side? You want to put it on? Okay, I'll see if I can, I see, I'll see if I can manage that. I mean. Yeah? How about the word jazz? What do we think about the word jazz? J. J. Yeah. Do you want to put it up, Miss Olivia? Put it up here. Let's not picture it. 
got it? There you go. How about I'm not this? always on. How me, about me. juice? J. J. Me, what do you think, Jeremiah? Where does me, it go? J. Where do you think it goes? What's here? Right there? Yeah. There you go. Here, put it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It will be on spin. Let me go down. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Right. How about the word puppy? Where would puppy go? jar, does your mouth make the p sound? No, so it goes on the J side. How about the word puppet? Where would the word puppet go? Behind you. Which side? J up. P? Yeah. P. Yeah. I know you guys are losing your mind. <laughs> Where would we put the word jeans? On J. Do you guys think that you understand the sounds of P and J? Yeah. Do you guys think you did it? So if I give you an option of the word jacket or the word plant, and I say which one starts with P? J. Which one starts with P? Jacket or plant? Plant. Good job, guys. Puppy. Just like puppy, yeah. How about pen and paw? What side would those go on? P and J. Pen and paw. Pen and paw. What side would they go on? P P. They're both P. They're both P words, so they both go on the P side, right? And what about the word jail? Where would the word jail go? J. Good job, guys. We did it. We did the whole t-shirt. Are you guys proud? Yeah. Yeah. What? Did you guys like it? 